Brian Powell of Iron Far here with Ryan Sands before the 2016 Terraware Ultra Marathon. How are you, Ryan? Yeah, good. Awesome to be in New Zealand. Been here for a couple of or two weeks now, so really enjoying it. Yeah, you did a uh, an adventure race down in the South Island. Yes, it was yeah pretty different. Uh, Multi sports. So I did a bit of paddling and, and mountain biking. Um, yeah, it took me a while to get used to the mountain bike, hence a couple of scars on on the arms. But um, yeah, it was really nice just to mix it up and uh, do something a bit different. And were you practice? I saw something about you practicing uh, clay pigeon shooting, or was that part of the event? Or yeah, one of the, the like uh, bonus stages, you had to ah. do a or you paddled and you ran up the the mountain and um, into your uh, clay pigeon shooting area. What other um, uh, sort of was, odd? Uh, <laughs> that was that, that was like the most bizarre. We also did a bit of abseiling, um, but apart from that, it was pretty pretty straightforward. Yeah, um, so you got a little bit of racing in, but. Uh, this yeah. is the start of your trail running season, yeah. correct? Um, you had a, if we're honest, a rough go at 2015. Yeah, no, I was <laughs> glad to see see the back of that. Um, yeah, glad to see the back of it, but also learned a lot. Um, probably overdid it a bit in 2014. You had a, like a, the first half of 2014. You were just like, yeah, unbeatable. You were on top of the world. Yeah, and then obviously it came, came back to to bite me in in 2015. Um, but yeah, you, you live and learn, and yeah, I'll try not to make the same mistake again. Yeah, so you're pr feeling. Re totally recovered and yeah. fit and no I hope so obviously like after last year obviously the confidence I need to try and build up uh, the confidence a bit again um, mm -hmm. but yeah it's like after UTMB I definitely took a, a lot of time off and um, try to see what what went went wrong and actually my like blood count was completely whacked so that that's a lot better now so um, yeah a lot lot more positive about uh, 2016 and yeah I think we'll try and do a little bit more racing and just kind of focus on the specific races I'm going to be running. Gotcha. So I tend to, coming from the Northern Hemisphere, I tend to think of people in New Zealand or South Africa, yeah. like this is the end, you're the core of their season, the end of the season. Yeah. If I understand correctly, you've been, it's kind of laying low. It's really hot in yes. where you live. Yeah, it's been been pretty, pretty warm. Um, yeah, basically I started running again like properly in, in December. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, got, I suppose for Tarawera, it looks like it's going to be fairly warm out there. So I've got a bit of but if you training in, in, in for that. Yeah, and how about, um, obviously you've had some great success at some, you know, mildly mountainous to mountainous uh, races. How do you feel going into what, especially late in the race, is quite quick? Yeah, I've, I've run the, the last 20Ks and yeah, it looks properly fast. <laughs> um, yeah, I, th I think like, I'd like to think I'm like a better like all round athlete, like not completely out and out mm, mountainous yeah. and not completely racing snakes so your, your success at western states has shown that like, yeah you can handle both parts of that race yeah so um hopefully that'll that'll um play into my favor a bit but obviously it's, it's only 100k so from watching the last year's video it looks really really fast so you can't really mess around too much you can't afford to have like any bad patches you just kind of got to go for it from the start i can't imagine maybe you have but have you raced uh, jonas boot in the past no, I've uh, never, never, never raced him. Obviously, seen him race in South Africa a lot. He's, he's run the Comrades. Yeah. So watched that on TV a couple of times. So, yeah, he, he's obviously going to be, be really fast, I'm sure, on, on race day. And who else do you sort of have on your radar specifically for this um, race? Obviously, Vajan Armstrong. He's always super consistent. Mm -hmm. uh, Jason Schlag. Um, yeah, he's always super strong. Um, trying to thank you Michael Wardian um yeah I'm sure he'll really kind of relish that that final 40ks so, I know he's he's raced a, a bunch already so yeah hopefully we'll be a bit tired so I mean does that change your strategy for a race like this knowing that there's some people with some really you know s super skilled on that fast stuff yeah it's, it's tricky actually I, I thought about it and then like after last year I think it's just being a first race this season I just actually really want to just race myself and kind of yeah, I'll see how quickly I can get to to the finish line. I'm not try and not worry too much about the racing. Mm -hmm. um, so I not tend to normally start fairly conservatively, and I'll probably go for that that approach again and try and make up a little of time in the middle of the race in the technical sections, and just hopefully I've got legs for the the last 30 or 40 k's and try and push on then. Yeah. So you've been doing this long enough. You probably have benchmark runs or workouts that you do in home yeah. in South Africa. Have you been doing any of them that give you some confidence going into this race? Yeah, my sessions have gone gone really well. But even last year, like before UTMB, I've had some really, really good training sessions. And then, yeah, it just seemed to kind of all fall, fall apart. So, 
I'm definitely like like feeling good and I feel like I'm moving well and running efficiently and I think for a race like this you got to be be like moving well and running efficiently so yeah I think I'm I'm, I'm feeling confident um we'll just have to see how it, how it goes I think um it's going to all be about the last 40 k's it, like it just looks you know, really fast and I think if, if you blow up on, on a mountainous terrain you can kind of get away with it a bit where a course like this if you kind of running five and a half minute k's and someone's running like four fifteen minute k's they're going to put lots of time into you so real quick yeah. yeah i think you definitely so did you ever figure out what exactly was wrong with you at the um, i know you were sick sort of at the yeah, end of 2014 had, like yeah I, I got glandular fever or yeah. mononucleosis and that um yeah i thought i'd recovered from it um in like in march april last year and then i dropped out of uh transfer kenya and i thought it's just kind of i'd been doing a lot of flat stuff for western states and i just mm -hmm. thought kind of something wasn't wasn't right uh, and then unfortunately i got sick before for western states and um, that was completely unrelated just uh, stomach bug kind mm -hmm. of worst nightmare <laughs> came came true and then yeah unfortunately utmb like i thought training had gone really well and then the exact same thing happened again like my legs just seized up and to be honest like a day or two after utmb i thought maybe like mentally i just lost it like maybe i wasn't tough enough like to deal with the pain but definitely wasn't that because for like two weeks afterwards i could hardly touch my legs and i only ran 45 k's or whatever at, at utmb so i did loads and loads of blood tests and all sorts of um, analysis and um like there was nothing like serious just like my blood count is just way too too low and i, I know with glandular the fever or, or mononucleus um really affects your, your liver and, and your blood count so um and obviously it took me a lot longer than than what i thought to so. to recover so yeah i think that's why i think doing a race like tarawera it's um it's still 100 k's it's, it's a long way but it's a fast um, 100 k's so at least it's not like a european race where i'm going to be spending like 14 15 hours on, yeah. on on my legs so i think it's it'll be a good test for me good stepping stone for the rest of the season yeah well so. best of luck out there ryan thanks Enjoy. yeah thank you